police officer is on leave tonight accused of beating a man and leaving him in an empty field. He was found in Kinlog, not far from Lambert International Airport, by a woman who was passing by. And new tonight, our Melanie Johnson is pressing for answers on what exactly happened that night. Sam, I have learned from the Northwoods Police Chief that that officer was placed on leave tonight at 630 this evening. A woman who claims she saw the aftermath posted a social media post saying she spotted the officer standing over a bloody young black man in a deserted part of North County. Accusations I took straight to the police chief. Nobody interviewed him yet. Northwoods Police Chief Dennis Sharif says his officer accused of beating up a man on the night of July 4th has yet to sit down and tell investigators what happened. Northwoods handed the case over to St. Louis County Police who confirm the police crimes against persons unit took over. We're going to make sure that we enforce those rules and regulations and policies just like we do with a citizen on the street when they violate the same laws. A spokesperson for St. Louis County Police says officers did respond to a person hurt and lying in the grass in this open field on Martin Luther King Boulevard and Hugo Street in the city of Kinlock. I've been notified by St. Louis County that they're investigating a uh, Northwoods vehicle being in uh, Kinlock at the time. This is the Facebook post that got the ball rolling. It's been shared more than 1,000 times. A woman says she was driving by when she saw a Northwood police truck parked at the scene, saying, quote, I seen the officer, white male, standing in the grass over something red. The alleged witness goes on to say, quote, sure enough, it was a person. He was up on his knees. I yelled out to him, quote, hey, are you okay? Do you need help? Quote, he said, yes, ma'am, please. The police beat me in my head. Please help me. She posted photos of what appears to be blood on the victim's face. The images are so graphic, we've decided to blur them. We want to make sure that due process is given to uh, the officer as well as the person involved. While the chief did confirm all officers are required to wear body cameras, he did not say if he has seen the video. St. Louis County Police have not revealed if they watched it either and tells me the video will not be released to the public right now, citing an active investigation. I want to be as transparent as, transparent as I can because I don't want the community to look as if it's a one-sided situation or I'm covering up anything. The victim is alive and police say he is and has non-life-threatening injuries. I have put in requests for the police report, body cam footage, and the vehicle GPS information for this incident. The St. Louis County Prosecutor's Office is aware of this case and plan to discuss it if charges should be filed. Melanie Johnson, News 4. Melanie, thank you. Out of